If your Apple Watch Series 6 is in need of a power button, or even a microphone for that matter, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to replace the flex cable that controls both of those features. Let's get started. I've already opened this watch to the point where I've removed the power button. I've got plenty of videos showing how to get to this point, but I haven't yet shown how to replace this flex cable. This power button was basically glued in with whatever white stuff this is, and it's corroded the power button itself to where it's shorting out and preventing the device from booting properly. You can see right here we've got the microphone. Carefully pry that guy back. It's got a rubber gasket that we need to save. Put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on there to loosen up the adhesive. There's a little bit of adhesive that holds the flex cables and it's the back of the button here. The flex cable for the microphone goes down all the way down there on the bottom, wraps around back inside of here, there and comes up and it connects right, right here. I'll remove this single tri-wing screw here. With its bracket, and I can disconnect the connector here. I'll gently get under the flex cable here that's adhered to the frame. We'll pop that up, and as we gently pull on it, it'll pull the home button and the microphone out just like that. We'll get ourselves a new power button. And for some perspective, there's a penny. And there's a teeny tiny flex cable. And we carefully peel off the power button. We'll transfer over the gasket for the mic. I'm gonna try to clean off whatever that white stuff was. Clean that off. Now I'm just going to try to slide the new button back in there. I line back up the microphone. Push back the connector there. And we'll reconnect it. We'll put the bracket back. And we'll put back the screw. I'm going to take a button. And we'll put back the screws. We get that nice distinct click. We'll line up our mic cover and we'll tighten those down. We'll put back one of the last screws. We can now connect the screen. Close the latches. We'll connect the battery. Put back the bracket. Finally, the screw. All right, let's give it a try. One click and there we go, life. And it's not boot looping like it was doing before. Clean up the display, that looks a lot better. Let's see. Down, oh, and everything seems to be working. There we go, now I can just seal it up. And we'll close it up. Clean up any overspill. I like to leave these under pressure for at least overnight, if not 24 hours, even though the adhesive should set up in less than a half an hour. As you've just seen, it's a repair that is doable. You'll definitely want to have the experience before you attempt to open and replace a component in a watch like this, but hopefully this helps. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.